Fear is, it's a natural thing and, it, and it's something that actually helps us survive. Uh, so years and years and years ago, people were afraid of, of dangerous types of things. Um, so it could be they're, they're afraid of animals, they were afraid of uh, you know, heights, or snakes, what have you. Um, but the whole idea was that this fear kept individuals alive, it kept them safe. Uh, and it helped them kind of think about, well, are they going to have to run away from this, flee from this, uh, or in fact confront it or fight. Now what's happened over time is that our world's become much safer. Uh, we don't have to worry about you know, too many animals or too many scary things uh, around us all the time. Um, so in some ways that, that evolutionary component of fear, um, it still remains, but it's not as central to, to our day-to-day -day living as it was 50, 100,000 years ago. Um, so, so these fears in essence are, are something that's really prepared uh, to keep us alive and help us survive. An average person has about four fears each, and some of the most common fears include things like being afraid of the dark, uh, being afraid of heights, Give, being afraid of giving a public performance like a speech in front of someone else, getting a shot or some sort of injection, um, and then you know bugs and creepy crawlers, things like that. Fear comes in a whole bunch of different ways within your body. So one of the ways is, is that uh, you can start kind of shaking your hands, you can have a stomach ache, um, you can kind of get really up, up tense uh, or really tight. Um, you can also have to pee, um, start sweating, get dizzy, all of these types of, of reactions in your body. And for some people, some happen, and for others, they'll have other types of symptoms. Now one of the thoughts is that this is your body's way of gearing up towards either kind of running away as fast as it can to stay safe, uh, or figuring out it doesn't need to do something to defend itself. Uh, and then what happens after that, uh, so you're, you're all kind of worked up, um, is you have this behavioral response. And a lot of times with different fears, that response is trying to figure out what you can do to stay safe. Uh, so it could be that you get out of the situation, that's a pretty common one, uh, or you do something to try to um, manage the situation as effectively as you can. So again, everyone has, has these fears, and, and in no way is it a bad thing. Um, it becomes a problem when, when those fears become excessive, distressing, and have this kind of, uh, rigid behavioral response that gets in the way. And so when that starts happening, uh, we start thinking of, of that fear is, is kind of crossing the line into a normal developmental occurrence uh, into a problem that we might want to think about you know, getting some therapy or some type of intervention uh, to try to address.